So this video just is going to show you how to create an array of objects to store an object of persons. So last time I showed you the person driver, right? You can instantiate an object. Now if I want to actually create the list of students, right? So it's students are persons, right? So I'm going to say an array of objects. So <coughs> I'll show you, right? An array of person, right? Objects. So person and brackets as an array, right? So type going to be person. Uh, let's say students equals to new person. But this part, you didn't do instantiate an object. You just create the sizes. Let's say 20 students, right? For an array. That means if you try to use students, like if I try to say system.out.println, what is the problem I try to do that? It's going to be, let's see if I try to do dot to get to the methods that I just created. Like, you see that? This is the method, right? Like, get age. There's no problem on syntax, but when you run, let me comment things that we don't need out first. This is all code. That's a problem here. You guys see the problem? No pointer exception at this line. Why? Why is it null? You may see this on your test. What is the null pointer exception? Because they don't know what is this. It never instantiated an object yet. Remember like scanner, keyboard, right? New scanner. That's how you instantiate it. If I never instantiate it, it's going to look like this. And if I try to say like keyboard dot next int, that's no syntax errors, right? B O A R D. It's just say initialized. If I initialize to null, I'm going to expect it's no pointer exceptions. Make sense? Because I initialize to null and no pointer exception, right? It's do uh, that line thirteen now keyboard. See that, right? So that's the same principle here. So that's why a lot of students may make mistake. So I want to show you. You're supposed to instantiate them first before you use. You cannot just use, right? So to instantiate, then you just need to, since this is every, it's 20 of them. You're going to use the loop to help, right? <coughs> Start from index 0. Length i++. Plus plus. And then we're going to instantiate. So pretty much, you're going to get into each of them by index i, correct? Equals to new, right? But you have to instantiate from person, right? And this is going to call the default constructors, which is this is default, zero age, zero, right, wage, not name here, right, <clears throat> and 20 of them just instantiated. Now, if I want to see that, I can just print it out to see, change to I, it should list all zero out, correct, 
because we used the initialized constructor see that so there's no problem with the no pointer and anymore because you create an object so that's what I want to show